It's 11 trivia questions on the first lines of songs. I'll give you those first lines. You tell me what song they're from. This is Trivia with Buds. And welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. I am a trivia host that hosts about 15 or 16 live events every single week in Southern California. If it's your first time listening to the show, thank you so much for checking it out. And remember, you can hit subscribe for new episodes on your device every single day. We've been doing this show for the last two and a half years and for almost a year on the daily So uh, if you like trivia, go back and check out the feed and you'll find different topics on something you love. I'm sure, I guarantee it, you'll find something good in the feed that jumps out at you and you'll be like, ooh, Futurama trivia. I love Futurama. And you can listen to that episode. Um, If you, again, hit subscribe, you get those new episodes every single day going forward. And uh, we have no signs of stopping here. If you want to support the show, patreon.com slash trivia with buds, all kinds of fun rewards and tiers over there for you to earn if you donate to the show. And I'm getting ready to send out all the May rewards at the end of this week. So if you want to hop on board, that would be really cool of you if you want to support. And we do a raffle now for seven weeks in a row every single Friday where I give away a pop culture item to one lucky patron of the show. So it doesn't matter what tier you're at. You could be at the dollar tier or the $50 tier, and you can still be in the running for something cool. A couple weeks ago, Game of Thrones socks we gave away. Last week, a Star Wars uh, Lucasfilms book from 1997. This week... Might be a keychain, might be a Stranger Things kind of a keychain. That might be a hint. So jump in for just a dollar and try and win that and interact with all the people on the Patreon Patreon page. Um, we have a Discord app chat where it's like an ongoing chat room and we post different trivia in there and uh, different patrons will say, hey, did you guys know about this? And they'll post pictures and things. So check it out. That's for a dollar or more. You get access to that chat. So uh, tons of cool rewards. And I'd love for you to be part of that growing community of 31 people. We're at the Baskin Robbins number. And uh, I think it will be growing very soon. Today's episode is all about first lines of songs. It was recorded at R.T. Rogers Brewing in Sierra Madre, California last week. And it's one of my favorite pla- favorite places to record an episode because it's a small, low ceiling kind of place. You feel like you're in somebody's house and uh, people get pretty fun and loud there. So I think you hear some fun things in the background of these episodes. And uh, this first lines of songs was a big favorite there. People scored pretty high and I think you will too. And I'm going to read you a list of, I think this is the top 15 maybe 15 or 20 uh, songs. These are the number one selling singles, physical singles of all time. So these are just kind of like uh, some stats for you. Number one, which I've asked before for a trivia question, is Bing Crosby's White Christmas, released in 1942, 50 million in sales. That is uh, like the untouchable record because no one really buys singles anymore. But uh, Bing Crosby, White Christmas, most selling singles of all time. After that, we've got Elton John's Candle in the Wind slash Something About the Way You Look Tonight. That's from 97, 33 million. So a big 17 million difference there. Then we got Mungo Jerry in the Summer time from 1970. Wow. I know that song and I did not know it was such a high selling single. Uh, It's used in the film Wedding Crashers off the top of my head when Owen Wilson goes for a bike ride with Rachel McAdams. Don't know why I know that. I just do. 1970 and uh, 30 million in sales right below Elton John. After that, Bing Crosby again. He's on here uh, just those two times. Uh, Silent Night. That was earlier, 1935, seven years before White Christmas, and that was 30 million, which is crazy. Bill Haley and his Comets, Rock Around the Clock. I play that quite a bit at Trivia Nights. That's from 1954, and that was 25 million. Whitney Houston, I Will Always Love You. I know that's a big hit. 92 from The Bodyguard, 20 million. Elvis Presley, It's Now or Never, 1960. I wouldn't think that that was his song that would be on this list. He has a lot of other big ones. Um, But it's now or never, 1960, 20 million. USA for Africa, We Are the World, 1985, the year of my birth, 20 million in sales. The Ink Spots, If I Didn't Care, I don't even know that song. 1939, 19 million in sales. Baraka, no, Bacara, Yes Sir, I Can Boogie, 1977, sounds like a big disco hit, 18 million. Celine Dion, My Heart Will Go On, 97, 18 million. Mariah Carey, All I Want for Christmas Is You, 94, 16 million. Brian Adams, Everything I Do, I Do For You, 1991, Robin Hood soundtrack i think 15 million and john travolta and olivia newton john you're the one that i want 1978 
15 million. So those are the people who have sold 15 million copies or more of a physical single. And that's according to best-selling singles on Wikipedia. So just some quick little uh, side trivia for you next time you're playing and they go, what's the number one selling single of all time? You could say Bing Crosby, uh, White Christmas. I learned that from the Trivia with Buds podcast. I want you to yell that at the top of your lungs. Uh, Speaking of yelling things, I do want to yell one more time before we get into these questions about Harry Potter trivia on May 31st. I keep plugging this one, but it's going to be a really fun show. Tons of prizes. And you can play in Southern California at Upland's Last Name Brewing. Tickets at the top in the banner on TriviaWithBuds.com. Check it out. I would love for you to come. And uh, if you listen to the show and you happen to be traveling this way, stop by. Say what's up. I'll buy you a beer. It'll be great. Okay, we're going to jump into these questions on first lines of songs. You're all warmed up with some song trivia. Let's see how you do on these 11 questions. Here we go. This next round is called the first lines of songs. Where my music aficionado is at? Where you at? Everybody. All right, very cool. This is going to be first lines of songs. These are all hit songs, pretty famous songs. And you're going to just write down the name of the song based on the first line that I give you. You don't have to write the artist. Just the name of the song. Just need the name of the song. Round two, question one. Here we go. Well, I don't know why I came here tonight. Number one. Number one. Well, I don't know why I came here tonight. You're writing down the name of the song. Don't need the artist, just the name of the song. First line of a hit song. Well, I don't know why I came here tonight. Number one. I have a feeling a lot of people will know number two. Here's number two. Is this the real life? Number two. Is this the real life? Number two. First lines of songs. Is this the real life? First lines of songs. Number three. Left a good job in the city. Number three. Left a good job in the city. Number three. First lines. Left a good job in the city. What song is that? Number three. Here's number four. Took my love, I took it down. Number four. Took my love, I took it down. Doing my best not to sing these to give them away. Number four. Took my love, I took it down. Number four. Number five. Coming out of my cage. What song is that? Coming out of my cage. Number five. First lines of songs. Number five. Coming out of my cage. Here comes number six. I hear the drums echoing tonight. Number six. I hear the drums echoing tonight. Number six. Number six. I hear the drums echoing tonight. Number seven. Thought I'd end up with Sean, but he wasn't a match. Number seven. Thought I'd end up with Sean, but he wasn't a match. Number seven. Good luck, old people. Number seven. Question number eight. In the time of chimpanzees, I was a monkey. Number eight. In the time of chimpanzees, I was a monkey. Number eight. Question number nine. First lines of songs. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you something. Number nine. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you something. Number nine. What's that song? Oh, yeah. I'll tell you something. Number nine. Number 10, two questions left. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are far too kind. Number 10, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're far too kind. Number 10, what is that song? Number 10. And your bonus question for two points. This one, you don't need to name the song or the artist, but you have to fill in the three missing words from the lyrics. So there's three blanks at the end. Here we go. For two points, finish these opening line lyrics from a hit song. My baby, don't mess around because she loves me so, and this I blank, blank, blank. Two points if you fill in those three blanks. Three words. My baby, don't mess around because she loves me so, and this I blank, blank, blank. That is your bonus question. And yet around two first lines of songs. We'll be back in a few with the answers. Thanks for playing trivia, buds. Here we go with the answers to round two, first lines of songs. Who think they aced this round? Anybody feeling good? Woodhill Design? All right. Number one, well, I don't know why I came here tonight. Was Stuck in the Middle with You by Steeler's Wheel. Steeler's Wheel. Great 70s song. You didn't only had to write the name of the song, not the artist, but I'm just giving you the context. Number two, is this the real life? Was Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. Bohemian Rhapsody. Number three, left a good job in the city. Proud Mary, CCR. 
Number four, Took My Love, I Took It Down, Landslide, Fleetwood Mac. Number five, Coming Out of My Cage, Mr. Brightside by The Killers. Number six, I hear the drums echoing tonight, Africa by Toto, making a big resurgence. Number seven, thought I'd end up with Sean, but he wasn't a match. Thank You Next by Ariana Grande. Number eight, in the time of chimpanzees, I was a monkey loser by Beck. Number nine, oh yeah, I'll tell you something, I want to hold your hand by the Beatles. Number 10, thank you, thank you, thank you, you're far too kind, Encore by Jay-Z. And I think there's also another song by Jay-Z called Thank You. So if you wrote Thank You or Encore, I think both of those, he starts it off. And the bonus for two points, finish these opening line lyrics from a hit song by Baby Don't Mess Around, Because She Loves Me So, and this I what? No for sure. No for sure. Hey Ya by Outcast was the answer. No for sure, rather, was the answer. Those are the answers to round number two. First lines of songs. Nice job, R.T. Rogers. There it was, R.T. Rogers Brewing, one of my favorite places to grab a brew anywhere around Southern California. Thanks for hosting me every Thursday, 8 to 10. And thanks for playing along with this episode. First lines of songs. How did you do? Did you get them all? Are you a big music file, audio file, whatever they call them? Uh, Are you into uh, MP3s and vinyls and all those things? Did you know a lot of these first lines of songs? Let me know in a tweet. Tell me if you like this episode at Ryan Buds on Twitter, at Ryan Buds on Instagram. You can send me a story. We can get in a live video. I'll do anything you want on social media if you want to interact with this show. And you can always email me, ryanbuds at gmail.com. Would love to hear your thoughts on the show, what you'd like to see in the future, what you do or don't like about the show. Always looking for that constructive criticism. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thanks for telling a friend about this show, and we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with me. Cheers. Cheers.